Okay, this is video five, and we will be doing a up sweep with full bangs, and in the end, it's gonna look like a fascinator or a hat. We're gonna need a hair tie. All right, or a rubber band. It's on you, but it has to be a strong one. Pulling all our hair up into a ponytail. So I said all our, just pull your hair up into a ponytail. Alright, ponytail has to be, has to be back of the head, sides, front, to be flat against your head or however you want it. All right, I'm gonna put the tie on. And we're trying to keep a bubble when we put it on. This tie is very tight. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. However, I'm going to pull some of my hair at my hairline down. This is not a hairstyle that I would wear all day if the hair tie is too tight. I'm going to bring some hair around in the front. Okay. Some falls, it's okay. I don't know where this one is coming from. Alright. So, we're going to take sections of the hair. Okay, this came from just the bottom. Take sections of the hair. And we're going to twist and wrap around the base. And tuck wherever we can. I'm tucking it in the bun. It can be tucked under the hair tie. Take one from the front, section from the front, twist. We're basically hiding most of the mechanics of the hair tie or rubber band or whatever you want to call it. step back because I'm noticing. Okay, so we wrapped once this way, we wrapped once this way. We're going to come again and wrap. I'm going to take a piece from the side. It's wherever you want to um, grab here, twist and tuck. Any loose ends, we tuck. Okay, and we just keep tucking under the last row we twirled around. Okay. Next section. Twist. Wrap around. And tuck under your last swirl. I don't know what to call it. Just the last row you've tucked around. Okay. We're going to take this another section, twist, and twirl around and tuck. If you want to pin it and secure it afterwards, it's up to you. I don't like a lot of pins. It depends on the hairstyle I'm doing, whether I use a lot of pins or not. All right. Time for some, some bangs, I guess. Alright, I'm going to take this end here. 
actually see. From the piece, it's going to be tough on this one. That's one. Bang. We're going to twist the end of one full bang. I'm going to twist. And then I'm going to tuck to the length I want it. Any loose pieces, find some place and tuck it. Okay, so so far that's one section. This is sloppy right here. Then we're going to take the next piece. We're doing it in layers. The length you want it to fall or drop. Right here. Or it can be higher, it's on you. I'm gonna do it right here. So it looks like you have separate type curls. Twist. And we're twisting because it's just easier to tuck when it's uniform. That's one. Find some place to put it. And you tuck underneath. Okay, we have a little bit more left. I'm doing one on top. Twist. And again, I couldn't see. But I want it to fall. It will fall right here. Just like that. And I'm tucking as before. Alright. I'm going to split this too. This hairstyle never comes out the same way twice. Okay, I'm going to lift this up. Then let it fall like that. I'm going to disturb the others and I'm going to tuck it under. Where it falls, I have no idea. But whatever little pieces I see hanging out, I know it just has to be tucked. I will pin that later. Oops. And that later. Last one. I'm going to have it come down right here. And I like this look. I'm going to twist it. Lift up, twist it all the way to the end. I may even fold it in half so when I tuck it, it stays. Careful to lift up the other four bangs and tuck. Now technically, once you find how you like the way it falls, 
you would pin it into place. Here you have it. If there's any pieces out missing, you took. So, here's our hairstyle for today. I don't know if you can see, or do you need to come in close? Side. I have no idea what the other side looks like, but I will see when I'm done with the video. It looks like a hat. Let's fold. We're looking in the fold. Curls. And you lose pieces, you tuck. Alright. That's it. I'm done. Signing off.